Kiddo number three had a growth hormone stimulation test done today. He's always tracked around the 30th percentile, but over the last couple of years fell off below the fifth. And so our pediatrician did some labs and then referred us to endocrinology, who's been following for about the last year. And we decided to pull the trigger and do a growth hormone stimulation test because our older kid is actually deficient in growth hormone. Our day started early and we had to drive over a bridge, which is always traumatic for people who live in St. Pete. We got weighed and measured and then we got our IV placed. We met our nurse and our child life specialist and they talked him through options and ways to make him comfortable for the procedure, which honestly went really well. With the IV in place, every 30 minutes they're able to draw his blood from that rather than having to stick him six different times to get blood. The arginine infusion was the first medication that was given. This helps stimulate the release of growth hormone and then it's checked to see if it actually gets released. We passed the time by watching videos on the iPad and then our child life specialist brought us a board game to play, which was really fun. He really likes the game, sorry. And we did take the clonidine pill, which is the second medication. Clonidine does decrease the blood pressure and makes kids kind of sleepy. So we finished up that game and then his blood pressure started dropping a little bit and he decided to take a nap. We did give some IV fluids to get his blood pressure up and then we just watched him closely. Just before the four hour mark, we were done. He was able to get up, walk, eat, and then we took him out for some cookies after because he did such a great job.